Well, good morning, guys. We are. Whoa. <laughs> it is raining here. Um, not sure if we're going to make it to our destination today, but look at this. Look at this guy. It's some rain today. Much rain. <laughs> we are actually heading to Taxila. It's like old ruins. We think so. We actually don't know too much about it, so we're gonna all find out and show you today. But um, how are you guys this morning anyway? Very good. I'm good. Well, yeah. the people outside aren't sadly. I know, the people outside aren't. And I saw some cows there all standing in the rain under a tree there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Come in, Gav. Oh. Wow, this is a dry spot here. I know. It was, it was such a heavy rain. Oh. Wow. Well, good morning, guys. We are. Whoa. <laughs> it is raining here. Um, not sure if we're going to make it to our destination today, but look at this. Look at this guy. <laughs> wow. I mean, I feel so lucky we're in a car, but look at these guys in front of us. I know, our, our driver here, good man. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's driving really well. Uh, but anyway, we were heading to a place today. Wow. Look at this rain. Good, good. Some rain today. Yeah. Wow, wow, this is crazy. Everyone is, um, everyone's just trying to get out of this, uh, off the street at the moment without stopping, I guess, because once you stop, um, I don't think you're going to get going again. Anyway, Sarah, where will we... Oh, where, no, is that uh, one kind of got its emergency hazard lights on? Or yeah, he, he's underwater. He's got to get out. He, he's not in a good way. Um, so where are we heading, Sarah? So we're heading to we're heading to Taxila. Well, hopefully. Oh, here we go. We're out of this little bit of water now. Um, we are wondering whether we should abandon our plans today. But oh no, I'm sorry for his car. Yeah, we're sorry for their car. So once again, you know, we're the lucky ones here. We're, oh my you know, goodness, and there's heaps of cars. Um, there's, oh, can you pass me? Because I feel bad doing while he's driving. Um, there's heaps of cars just stopped over there and like trying to get started with all the bonnets up, like trying to make sure they're still going and stuff. Lots of the cars here. If yeah. the water goes in the muffler, there are yeah. kind of stalls. Um, lots of the cars here. There's lots of those really small little Suzuki, Suzuki Miran or something, Gab? What is it called? Ah, uh, they're just yeah. little... Miran. Miran, the yeah. The Suzuki Miran is like... I don't know, I would call it like a micro car, like they're really small and they have, they're, well they're low to the ground, they're wheel, what size wheels would they have? Oh, they're just little 12 inch they're, runs, they're like yeah, a little mini. They're, li they're like a mini, that's probably, but just so basic, we got a couple for a taxi like around, um, they're cool little cars, like they're great yeah. for in the city, but um, oh my goodness, oh look at all this, this sort of fox coming out of the air conditioning gear. Wow. From, um, well okay, we're just going through a tunnel. Moisture. Oh, I feel um, so bad for our car and driver. But um, we are actually, so today, good morning guys, salam alaikum. We are actually heading to Taxila. It's like old ruins. We think so. We actually don't know too much about it, so we're going to all find out and show you today. But um, how are you guys this morning anyway? Very good. I'm good. Well, the yeah? people outside aren't, sadly. I know, the people outside aren't. And I saw some cows there all standing in the rain under a tree there. Yeah. Oh, um, in in, 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 in here in Jasselma, we saw where it rained and all the cows, um, one slipped over. Oh no, because so they were all running, they didn't know what to do because it 
doesn't rain very often there in the desert. But um, yeah, so anyway, we are going to go and meet up with Shabak and Aftab, our friends again, and we'll make a plan for today. We'll see, we must be close to them now. Uh, we're just here, everyone's sort of drying out. Wow, that's like a really blunt mm -hmm. reminder of how lucky we are um, in our, like in, well, in, even in New Zealand, although we all complain about potholes in the road, yeah. and I do as well, potholes in the road and flooding and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. The infrastructure over here is just not, just does not cope with the volume of rain that we get, um, or the volume of rain that they get. Not often, but when they do, wow, it just comes down. And once again, we're the lucky ones. You know, we're in a dry car, we've got dry clothes, but a lot of these guys that we see going past us, they, they don't have um, this sort of stuff, so it's tough to watch. Uh, you must be the man, man, bro. Okay, we've arrived at Taxila Museum. It is extremely wet here, but we're gonna go in anyway and get out of the rain. Hopefully there's a nice warm cup of tea. Right, let's get in. the driest spot here. I know. It was, it was such a heavy week. Oh, wow. You stay inside here. Um, did you say we just drove past these all these cars that in the um, shops, like the the bottom of the shop, and as soon as any cars drive past, this whole like tidal wave yeah. comes straight across. Okay. How are you, Ihan? Good. I just want to go and jump in the. Ah, uh, you're right. Yeah. yeah I like yeah. your avocado T-shirt. <laughs> it looks very nice. Ihan right? is happy. <laughs> He's the happy one. We got all the puddles in the world. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow look at this. Oh, wow. What a beautiful place. Museum 1928. <laughs> Um, we were just looking at this, so this, is it, what's it made out of, like, oh it says iron, yeah. so that's the wheel of law, so that's on the Indian flag, you know in the centre of the Indian flag. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. It has like, um, What do you think Oscar? It's really cool. Yeah, so that's why, that's why I was there. Yeah. Yeah. Look at those rings. I know. Yeah. And we're just talking about which one was the, oh over here, come over here, here. this one here, so. This one in the meditation position is Buddha, and this one over here is the rain god, which Gab was just saying is working. He's working very hard today, the yes. rain god. <laughs> so they used to have gems, and there's little holes above the nose, but people have stolen them over the years, sadly. But that's why Indians still have the red mark. Right, just, to represent that. Gem. Yeah, like the third eye. Wow. And you can see it quite clearly there. We're just learning that so all of this art, this art in this gallery here, is all Indo-Greek. So it has actually, so if you look closely, so while they've got like the Indian, like um, how art was at that time, but if you look at the hair on some of them, see the hair on these ones, it's actually a Greek style of hair, how it's like up on the top, that's not 
how it is on the Indian one. So this is like a an Indo-Greek style of art. Mm. It's so, so detailed. I'm sure you can't see it on the video, but um, it's incredibly detailed. So that was the museum. It was incredible. Mm. Hello, Ian. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Water, please. Okay. Wait, this back here again? Look at these trucks. I tell you what, you've got to give it to these truck drivers. They know how to dress up their trucks and make their trucks look pretty cool. We're going to grab ourselves a little snack and we're going to head back towards town and we've got a place we want to go to which is called Dino Valley for the, Dino kids. Valley so for the, the kids. So that's the end of our kind of very historical um, history lessons this yeah. morning. Now the kids are all screaming out Dino Valley so. Yeah. But, so we're, we're going gonna... to get um, some kind of snacks here. So this is a small little general store by the way anyway. So I'm going to find Yeah let's take a look right. through eh? Yeah. So you basically can get whatever you want. There's potato chips. Cold drinks. Well, okay, I'm going to get the kids like those mango juice. Uh, right yes. Biscuits. Chocolates. Laundry powder. Coffee. Snacks. Full of snacks. Biscuits. Look at that. Coffees. Everything. Do they have any good day? No, they got all kinds of ones. That looks great. And all of these ones, please. Go in past Oh, look at this fully stocked up shop. Hello. There's a busy little road here. Motorbike mechanics. Tell them, tell them. Slum, slum. How are you, sir? You are Christian? Uh, New Zealand. I am Christian. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I am Christian. Ah, oh, good, good, nice. Nice. Jesus name, Jesus name. Yes. I like these trucks. selection of not healthy snacks don't don't look but they're gonna have some biscuits and some crisps in the car and a drink I mean it came to 540 rupees which must be maybe like two US dollars less than two US wow. dollars or something so but anyway we're gonna head back towards Islamabad now yep. we've had a cool morning out here in Takasila so we'll take for the journey back nice Look at these trucks. Here comes another one. You've got to show this one. I've got to show this one. Oh, there's two of them. They Look at up. this. They're like, is this another bed fit coming along? Or here comes one the other direction too. Which one to show? <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Look at this. They're amazing. And they're for transit. And look Whoa, at this!
school bus. I feel like I just I could do just a whole video on trucks. They're very cool to they're very cool to look at. This afternoon guys we had an amazing day at Taxilla. What'd you learn? I learned that they had the crystal in the forehead of the, the gem and the Buddha statues, but they removed them because people were trying to steal them. Yes, and they were in the stone carvings of the Buddha heads, right? Yeah. yeah. And I remember seeing lots of the um, what was what was really interesting? Oh, they had these rocks and they were so spherical and so smooth. Remember we were looking at those gems, Mum? Yeah. And do you know what they were for? I think they were actually Necrosis? used as like weights, so that oh. when they were weighing like goods the, or something so to buy, big, big stuff. Yeah, they could. It was I saw the steel pants, yeah. steel weighing pants. I, I also saw the. Um, why were the Buddha heads cut off? That's the, the because rock they ones. Um, because when people came there, who who took the Buddha heads off, Gaff? When people mm -hmm. came to come and excavate it, they removed the heads off of all of those um, ones. Like Hindu. Ah. When, oh, when Hindu came, religion. because it was a different religion, because it was the Buddhism oh. is from that area of Taxila. That's why it has the oldest university in the world there, oh. and that's why it has that has so much history. So it had influence from. India, it had influence Greek. from Greek, it had influence from Mongols, the, and, um, and of course influence from mainly China from and from Tibet, Pakistan. and lots of influence from Pakistan. So, I think, but it was been, really interesting. Yeah. yeah. So, have you guys had a good day at Taxila? Yeah. Super good. Day. Would you recommend other people to come and visit Taxila? Yeah. Definitely. I would recommend going to that museum. Yep. I in the tour, he made it really, oh it said 1925 that but do not yes. climb on the excavation site yeah we saw some people climbing on those excavation sites don't do that Who's, but um, go to I the, don't know who those people go to the climbing. site go to the site to go and visit that though yeah, yeah. it was really cool but um, I think there was a thief to go in yep it cost 500 rupees for a foreigner to go in so. yeah I think we should guys I think we should sign off yeah do you guys want to wrap up yeah we will see you on the next day don't forget to like and subscribe